Spoiler alert, what do one of these have in common with your motorbike? And we get to see one of these that isn't deaf. A bit smelly. I said deaf. What's worth? Talking to deaf dog? I talk to dog at all. Anyway, watch the rest of the video and I'll explain more. See Ellie, who said motorbikes aren't dog friendly? Look at that. A happy dog. See how realistic these toys look, look. There's what you got earlier. It's a real one! <laughs> Hi, Mark Savage here, and welcome to our epic 1,000 mile journey. 100 miles? To the far reaches of England. Great Yarmouth. We didn't stop once. Very comfy ride. So what's next? Well, it's packing all our stuff in the bike. That's where the BMW panniers, well, I say most panniers and any bikes come in handy, really. BMW have one slight problem with the panniers. They just sort of cut one to pieces. What BMW did do, though, is this very, very clever little gadget, which expands the box quite a lot on both sides and the top box. So we're gonna get two helmets, jackets, and everything else in the back here. And we can walk around this far reaches of Great Yarmouth. On our thousand mile journey. 100 miles. <laughs> I have to say this 2011 BMW purred here. Top gear, gearing is absolutely lovely in this um, 200 mile range it said on there. And we've got 100 miles left, 100 mile journey, so it's bang on so far. Very, very comfortable, big old potholes. I'll let the wife tell you. Comfortability? Very comfortable. Did you want to stop? No. So that's 100 miles straight off, which is not bad really for first long journey this year. Yeah, no, good. Lou hasn't been on a bike realistically for a while now for any sort of journey, so this was quite good. All round on this little baby. I did fit these um, lights and I said I'll do a video of them, but literally there's two screws in here anyway. So I just used the original screws so it didn't be any drilling and I wired them, them into the side light. Yeah, very good. Nice and easy. That's what I'm doing to this bike so far. The horn, however, which should be up there somewhere. I haven't wired in yet. So right, let's get all our gear off and uh, yeah, let's start walking the mounts. Actually, breakfast. Breakfast sounds good. Well, there we go. That was a nice little walk around. If you look left and right now, there's loads more motorbikes here. There. And that. When I get back home, I'll let you know how the mileage went. Should get us here and back on 200 mile per tank, I'll let you know. And uh, see you back at my house. Oh, some car. <laughs> moving camp with horses. <laughs> so what do one of these have in common with your bike? It's not just for theft. It's also for damaging your bike here, here and here, and here. So most of you will guess what happened. I left it on. Went to pull away, whole bike jerks, and we both fall on the fucking floor. Not clever. Wife hurt her shoulder, I just got really embarrassed. Managed to throw the bike back up again quite quickly. As the video shows you how to get these GSs up, um, you push the handle right over and you lift the whole bike. Don't try it in the middle. I did it instantly, more embarrassed, hurt my back a little bit than anything else. But just goes to prove that there's somebody playing that go over here. Just goes to prove that yes it's scratched, but without that on there, this would have smashed, oil everywhere, RAC, really embarrassing. All I managed to embarrass was myself and a few little war wounds, let's call them. And then it's jammed. It literally just jammed in to see that I had to rip the whole thing apart. Luckily, our motorcyclist seemed to stick together and a couple of guys came with a little bit of a bar and a few screwdrivers and I managed to leave her open. Um, how long to get off, so I'm a bit embarrassed about that really. Wouldn't have stopped a thief, all done was threw me on the bloody floor. But let's get back to the bike. Very comfortable. Wife comfortable? Yep. She's nodding yes behind the screen, don't worry about that. Very comfortable. I think it was more me. First long journey we've done in a very, very long time. Tank range. Well, we did 190 miles there and back. It still says I can do 25 miles. Um, and that's always a bit generous to honest with you, you can get a bit more out of it. So I'm happy to say 200 miles easy on a tank. We were doing about 70%, about 70 miles an hour. And the rest of it was 30, 40, 50s and a few stops. So really, really happy with this so far, except throwing it on the floor. That wasn't clever. Other than that, it rode it really well. The gearbox in this, as I said before in my video, was much better, smoother than my 16 plate. My wife seems to like it a lot better. 
Um, we'll go to uh, West Tukme next time, that's 200 miles. We will stop after 100 in Reading Way. Uh, I'm gonna throw this in the bin while cursing an awful lot. Can't decide whether to try and clean this up or buy another one. I'm gonna take it off because I've pushed it in a little bit. Uh, I don't think I've done any damage under there. Um, I could rub it a little bit down, but you know, all in, thank God I had that on there. You know, engine guard, you got a video on this before, I had the big head ones that came out of oh, head ones. But these are brilliant. Without them, as I said, it would have been a right bloody mess. Am I loving the BMW? Yes. Am I pissed off with this? Yes. But thanks for watching. Please like, subscribe and share. And I'll keep making them. And I'll keep updating you on my lovely GS. And uh, I am loving it. Shame I just threw it on the floor. But there you go. Millions and millions.